Greetings, welcome to part two. As you can see, I started laying down the foam on the uh, on some of the bench work, basically using uh, one inch, just regular your uh, one inch from uh, Home Depot um, dense foam, and uh, I laid down uh, foam on one of the sections I'm using a. Uh, I believe it is uh, where the tube. Uh, the um, Loctite for foam board PL300. Let me focus a little bit so you guys can see. So, uh, Loctite PL300 uh, latex adhesive. I'm going to be using it to bond the foam to uh, uh, the plywood as well as. Uh, anywhere where I have multiple layers of foam uh, that will be uh, done using the same uh, uh, latex caulk as well. Um, obviously you can see I made a cutout for the uh, for the pop-up. Um, the way I did that I, I would lay down a single uh, sheet of uh, foam and then uh, after that do, do the cutting. Uh, at least on the first one that didn't work out quite as well. So uh, for the uh, next piece right there, I ended up using, uh, well, ended up pre-cutting ahead of time using uh, just a regular uh, box cutter and uh, snapping it in two. Certainly easier with a one inch foam compared to uh, the thicker two inch that some might be using. Um, so the next, uh, going to uh, start laying down foam here in the yard area and uh, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, uh, as you can see I applied the adhesive here. Um, what you want to do when applying the adhesive, uh, you don't need to go too crazy, use very thin beads uh, about uh, an inch to a quarter of an inch thick. Um, not so, not too, too liberal. But one important thing to keep, uh, keep in mind is make sure you don't uh, create circles or any closed areas. You want to make sure that you get uh, airflow. Uh, throughout everywhere where you will be applying the uh, the foam, um, and um, so that no area is uh, airtight. And the reason you want to do that is a so that air gets to the adhesive to help it dry, and the second reason is uh, for the air to escape so you don't have any air bubbles when you press down the foam, and uh, that obviously will help um, um, if uh, if your layout is in the um, is in an area where you get large temperature variations, so as air heats up, as a bubble heats up, it doesn't um, um, doesn't uh, bulge out the foam or the plywood or uh, anything else. As you um, as you join different pieces of foam together, um, as you can see, I laid down that piece and uh, at the joints, you're obviously going to have gaps. Uh, some places uh, the gaps are going to be bigger than others. Um, the uh, foam I'm using is slotted, so uh, where uh, the slots go together, uh, there are little cutouts and they actually uh, join together very nicely. But uh, where you're using um, various sides or if you did some cuts that it ended up rougher than uh, you might have wanted to, um, ultimately it's not too big a deal. Um, try to just try to get them as close together as possible and uh, then you can always uh, fill the gaps. Um, what I've been doing at the joints, I'm using uh, the same caulk that uh, I used to glue down the foam. Basically, I lay down a thin bead right along the uh, uh, the joint, and uh, you can use uh, just about anything to, to spread around a uh, putty knife, old uh, credit card, uh, anything to just kind of fill the gap and uh, spread it out, try to make it as even as possible. And then once it dries, you'll be able to. Uh, uh, send it down a bit to make sure it's nice and even throughout uh, in all the joints. So, uh, uh, one of the other piece of advice uh, from personal experience: don't uh, solder, um, don't solder uh, any track together ahead of time. I, uh, as I was uh, playing around and trying things out, I uh, soldered some of the, some of the sections of flex track together, and uh, then you end up with these six foot long sections that are. Uh, very specific for a particular area, but uh, no big deal. I basically just kind of uh, tag them so I know which one is which, and um, once 
once I'm ready I can just put them back into place. That's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll uh, see you all next time.